In speaking about city sidewalk safety, I mentioned how necessary it is that there should be, in the brains behind the eyes on the street, an almost unconscious assumption of general street support when the chips are down. When a citizen has to choose, for instance, whether he will take responsibility or abdicate it in combating barbarism or protecting strangers, there is a short word for this assumption of support. Trust. The trust of a city street is formed over time from many, many little public sidewalk contacts. It grows out of people stopping by the bar for a beer, getting advice from the grocer and giving advice to the newsstand man, comparing opinions with other customers at the bakery, and nodding hello to the two boys drinking pop on the stoop, eyeing the girls while waiting to be called for dinner, admonishing the children, hearing about a job from the hardware man and borrowing a dollar from the druggist, admiring the new babies, and sympathizing over the way a coat faded. Customs vary. In some neighborhoods, people compare notes on their dogs. In others, they compare notes on their landlords. Most of it is ostensibly utterly trivial, but the sum of it is not trivial at all. The sum of such casual public contact at a local level, most of it fortuitous, most of it associated with errands, all of it metered by the person concerned and not thrust upon him by anyone, is a feeling for the public identity of people, a web of public respect and trust, and a resource in time of personal or neighborhood need. The absence of this trust is a disaster to a city street. Its cultivation cannot be institutionalized, and above all, it implies no private commitments.